Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm your girl Katrina and today is wash day. Okay, so I have all of these shirts and stuff here before me. I'm going to show you I've washed these like with my big washing machine. So I am going to show you some DTF wash test results, some TKO transfer wash test results, sublimation, all that good stuff. Even um, And I even have a Caesar Easy DTV one. So I'm going to show you after a few washes how it looks. But I'm also going to be doing a full review on my new mini portable washing machine that I got from Timu. I had a nice Timu haul and I was pleasantly surprised. All right, so that video will be linked down below in the description box. Definitely check out that video because I unboxed so many awesome small business products. But today's video is gonna be mainly about wash test results for the DTF because that's what you guys have been asking me for and begging me for, okay? So I'm gonna show you some of those but I'm going to also be washing some stuff and putting this baby to use and see if it's really worth it. So I'm going to get to the price, turn it on, work it, operate it, make sure everything works perfectly in just a few minutes. This is not going to be a long video, I promise. So now I'm just going to give you an up close result on these wash tests and let's see how these images held up. Okay, so let's take a look. First one we have is that TKO transfer that I did, my son's hoodie. I did this a while ago, and my son has probably worn this hoodie like maybe three times. I know it's been washed at least three times. So this is the full color um, extreme transfer from TKO. Still looks good, there's no lifting, there's literally no peeling. Those colors are still vibrant. See if you can really get a good look at that. I know this is only like three washes, but you guys will have to buy the transfers and um, and wash them yourself. Because if I do like 50 wash tests, it would take forever. We gotta pay for water around here. So I'm sorry, I'm just not gonna just sit and just wash them over and over and over again because that is a lot of water, okay? So all the transfers that I have, that I've used so far, they have never, never lifted, okay? Always do a final press. Um, and I know you can get at least, it says 50 washes out of here, plus I can't remember if it's 50 or 75 so it's definitely enough to last for the longevity of you know the lifespan of the shirt all right so just want to show you that again this was only three washes this is the full color transfer from TKO now of course we know sublimation lasts it's permanent all right just want to show you I made this shirt last year um, when I went on vacation with my son to Disney World so it's embedded in the fibers of the shirt. This is sublimation, 100% polyester shirt, no fading. Um, but, you know, it does look worn over time because of the fact that, you know, the shirt gets worn. So the colors, you know, do look a little worn. But just so you know, this shirt has been washed probably at least 10 times or more because I just wear these shirts around the house, especially like if I'm just working around the house. And matter of fact, this one is 100% polyester as well and gray. I've had this shirt even longer, even longer. Let me bring my camera down just a little bit more so you guys can see better. So this is gray. You can supplement on a light color. So this is gray and look at that up close, how those colors look really still looks good especially because it's an athletic gray color so i know this shirt has probably been washed um probably anywhere between 12 to 15 times at least maybe i've had this for a good while all right so that's how these colors look 100 percent polyester t-shirt on sublimation and this is a gilded performance shirt i can't remember the exact name but it's 100 percent polyester these are some more TKO transfers. I just pressed this one recently in a video. And this is one. The transfers hold up really nice. Really nice, guys. So I know this shirt's probably only been washed, I think, twice. This one may have been washed three times as well. So same difference. They hold up really nice. There's no lifting. I can't even feel where it starts and begins. As long as you follow the instructions and press them really good, your transfers will hold up. They will last. It's better than vinyl, I'm telling you. Vinyl will lift over time. Vinyl will peel over time. It will crack, all right? So not really sure how long this will take to peel and crack. I will keep you guys updated, but 
it won't be as fast as vinyl that's for sure all right so just wanted to show you those now here's another one before i get to the dtf this is the caesar this is the caesar easy color dtv direct to vinyl and this shirt has probably been washed i want to say at least at least five times at least all right um still looks good but i know within a few more washes it might start to lift it might start to lift i did have another one um no lifting but you know what when i rub my hand i can feel where it starts and begins so that's the signs of early lifting there's no lifting yet no peeling no cracking it just looks wrinkled because it was literally just washed and it's not ironed or anything but um definitely it will potentially start to lift or um or crack a little while so the best way to avoid it to take care of it this is specifically for the caesar easy dtv do not iron directly on it wash your shirts inside out and iron behind it so i want to make sure you know i don't want that to be wrinkled i'm going to iron it inside out or iron it from the back that will help with the longevity of the shirt all right so just wanted to definitely include that in here because i know this was like a new popular thing for inkjet for those of you who don't have supplementation or dtf a lot of people is going towards the caesar dtv just know it does not last as long as other printing options, but it is a great option if you only have an inkjet printer, okay? All right, all right, all right. The moment you guys have all been waiting for, you have been asking me for it. Just so you know, I included this in a short. The short videos are only one minute videos that I put up. Please make sure you have your notification bells on so that way you can be privy to everything that I post, okay? I posted this in a video after three washes. Everyone kept asking me for the wash test and I'm like, I posted it, all right? So... I showed this and I'm going to insert the clip of me now washing both of these shirts because I did put them in my full washing machine just so you know for proof. I don't want you guys saying, well, how do we know we, you actually washed it? I actually washed it. So take a look. Okay, so this is the DTF shirt right here. Putting it in the wash. This is a white toner that I just happen to be washing. I've washed this multiple times already, so I'm going to wash that again. But this is the first time I'm washing the butterfly shirt. So I'll let you guys know how it comes out. And I'm going to wash it a few more times. All right. Let's go. Okay. So now this was the first one I did. I did this one with that coffee um, DTF image as well. But I gave that shirt to my sister. You know, I was testing it out. But I gave it to my sister. This is the one with sublimation ink with the vinyl behind it. Just so you know. Keep that in mind. So this is heavier. All right. It's a much heavier print because you have the Caesar Easy Weed vinyl behind it. That's the only way you can use sublimation on black. All right. If you're printing on some type of printable vinyl. So the colors still look absolutely great. That's from the original image when I messed it up. I messed it up. Um, still looks great. This has probably been washed. I want to say five to six times, five to six times, I'm guessing, because I know I washed it like three times prior. So, you know, I have a lot of clothes, people, so I don't wear my shirts back to back like that. So it takes time for me to give you, and I know you guys don't want to see a video after just one wash. Y'all going to be like, for real, come on. So I try not to do it at one wash, and then because I get so many requests, it's, you know, I'm trying to get at least a good 10 washes in, but you guys keep asking me. You know, it's hard to get to like 10, 20 washes, all right? So this is after maybe five or six washes. So just so you know, and this isn't stretchable because of the vinyl, the HTV that's behind it, okay? So I just want you guys to see these colors up close. There's no raised edges. No raised edges whatsoever. So DTF ink is a really great form of printing. I'm not going to even lie to y'all. Like, I'm not. Whether you're using it with sublimation, whether you're using actual just the DTF, it's still a great form of printing. All right. 
this is the butterfly shirt the butterfly afro girl and this has been washed I want to say three times three times this is straight DTF hundred percent DTF no sublimation no inkjet um, with my prestige and if you want to know what if you're coming here just for a DTF um, wash test results and you haven't seen the actual DTF printer that I have that's linked down below in the description box and these colors still look beautiful they are popping still radiant okay look at the vibrancy there's no lifting whatsoever this one feels a lot softer because there's no vinyl behind it so no raised edges whatsoever I will definitely keep you guys updated I've been selling all the other images so I am gonna run off some more um, and do some more tests myself but this is the only DTF shirt that I have that I kept for myself everything else has been given away or sold all right but this is only three washes we're gonna keep washing it just to see how long and I'm gonna throw it in the wash in the little mini wash as well so I'm gonna throw both these shirts in the little mini portable wash now all right so don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful let's go and test out the new mini portable washing machine guys now I'm going to review this mini portable washing machine. So again, I got this from Timu. And um, I'm not sure if this is 8 liters or 6 liters. They come in different sizes. They have different prices. So they have more than one um, model. There's like different people or manufacturers selling on Timu. I believe that's how it works. And you can just pick whichever one is like the best price for you. Alright, so they do come in different colors. As I showed in the previous video, the buttons are in the front. It has three different modes as far as times. You can wash for either three minutes, six minutes, or ten minutes. There's no like high, low, speed, you know. There's no fancy settings on here, you know, for like delicates and all that stuff, okay? So it's just literally time settings, all right? So you'll drain the water right over here well, after you're done. So I'm going to make sure that's pushed in really tight so no, so no water leaks out. The cord is right here. So now this is collapsible, it's small, it's portable. So when you want to store it, all you do is mash it down. Look how small and compact that is, right? That's how you store it. That's how it comes packaged. And I had to figure out how to open it. I was like, how do you open this thing? All right, that's what it is. That's the little turn thing right here on the inside. Really nice. So in order to open it, all you do is just like take it, grab it, and push down. I'm trying not to break a nail too. All right. There's a little handle right here, just like that, and it comes with the lid. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead, plug it up. I'm gonna put some water in it. Oh, I gotta get my detergent. How I'm gonna wash clothes? And I ain't got no detergent. I forgot all about that, guys. All right. So I'm gonna go run and get that. Plug this in. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm really excited to use this to see how it works out. So I went and got me some Gain. And I got some scent boosters because of course we have to have nice smelling scents. And I'm not going to throw any fabric softener in here. Because I'll save that for my big washing machine. Alright, so I just have some small items. Just so you know, I'm going to test the size. Let's see, let's just test the size. This is a medium t-shirt. Alright, here we go, going in. It can definitely fit a t-shirt. Let's see if it can fit two. Second t-shirt going in. You can definitely put two t-shirts in here. Now there's a line. I don't have an instruction book. It did not come with an instruction book booklet. So I would definitely not, not, let me remove this so I can show you, fill the water past that purple border. Boom, right there. You see where the purple meets to the white? The white is like under here I would not put water past that purple line that is a turntable I'm going to show you before when I cut this on I'm going to show you what it looks like without the water because I don't want to once I put the water on and turn it on I'm going to actually close it so that way the water doesn't splash out so I'll show you how it looks before and that's what the spin cycle will look like okay I'm gonna go ahead, put these shirts in, boom, just like that, just like that. That's white, let's not put the white in, sorry guys. Let's stick the two DTF shirts in. So we got the two DTF shirts in. I'm just gonna pour my little water in here, 
All right, this is my first time testing this out. Pouring the water in. I should have put the detergent in first, right? So this is kind of, you know, it might not look like it. I'm trying to see, I guess the, there we go, there's the water. I'm trying to see where that water line is, but it's soaking up into the shirt. So you want to pour the water in up to that purple line. Okay, so that should be good. Now I'm gonna take my detergent. I'm not gonna put a lot. I have never washed this small of a load before. So you definitely don't want to put a lot, but we just wanna put enough, right? In you go, like that. Nice little detergent. I'm really curious to see how this is gonna do, guys. All right, and now I'm just gonna put a few of the, even though that smells good, which one is this? That's my, that's my Moonlight Breeze. That smells so good. Oh my God. So I'm not sure if I should mix these two scents. This is my white lavender. And can never have enough scents. I love my clothes to smell good. And I love when they get out the dryer. All right, so we got the detergent. We got the scent boosters. We got the water. That's what it looks like inside. Now, time to put the lid on it. We are ready to wash. Okay, so here are the settings up here again. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do 10 minutes. Of course. Is it gonna start? Oh. It's starting, guys. I can feel it vibrating. That's the noise it makes. So we're gonna let that wash for 10 minutes. I want to open it up and look at it so bad. I want to. Let's see if we can take a sneak peek. Let's see what happens. I don't want no water to splash. Ooh, it's washing. Let's see how it does. Let me keep that lid on it. We'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This thing sounds like it's crying out for help, but I really want to check on it. I'm not sure how long it's been because I was too busy making a short and I wasn't timing it, but the tin light button is still on. I'm just gonna lift it up just to see. It really sounds weird, but as long as it's washing, that's cool. So let's just take a sneak peek inside to see what's going on. What you scared for? I'm a, oh, and I see suds. I see suds, people. Okay, I see suds. Let's go. This thing is washing. I really just wanted to give you guys an up close look inside to see how it's going. And listen, it's washing, baby. So that's why you don't want to put that water too high. So I put that water right at the perfect level, looks like. It's washing. Okay, all right. Oh wait, that's done. So as I was literally just putting my camera back on the stand, it beeped and stopped. So it beeped twice. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it. Make sure you unplug it first. I'm gonna take it to drain it. And then we're gonna dry the shirts. And I'm gonna have Kaden come in here and wash some of his little stuff. Just so you guys can see that you can put a variety of different things in here, all different sizes. So this will be great for him if he wants to come home and wash his socks and all kinds of stuff, his underwear. So Kaden is gonna come in here and use it as well. Let's go drain the water out. Okay guys, so I'm in my kitchen and I'm just gonna drain the water out. The little plug is right here in the front. So I'm just gonna unplug this and look at all that water coming out. So now what I'm gonna do to make sure that I have all the water out, I'm just gonna mash the shirts down. Like, you know, cause there's no spin cycle here. I'm trying to make sure all the suds is gone too. So I have this little rack on here and look, I got this from Timu too. I told y'all in my last video I had got kitchen stuff. So I'm just gonna try to make sure I have this rinsed off. This is good so that way it won't go to sink. There's a lot of suds in here. So let's, next time I'm gonna use less soap. I'll use less soap. I didn't even think I used a lot. But because the wash cycle was only 10 minutes and there's no rinse, there's no rinse, I wanna make sure I get all that soap out. All right, so that should be good. I think that's good. I think all of the soap is out. 
There we go. I'm going to throw these in the dryer and then I'll show you the final results. Let's go. Hi everybody, so now it's my turn to use this. Okay, so Kaden is, we're gonna do it down here in the kitchen so that way it'll be easy for him to drain. All right, so he's gonna be washing his mask. Put, Put your mask in. in. I'm gonna throw in some of my masks, is that okay? I'm just gonna throw in some of my masks. So just showing you guys that you can wash so many different things. One, two, buckle my shoe. All right, so now Kaden, go ahead and take the pitcher and pour the water in. Kaden's doing everything this time around. Stand to the side so they can see you a little bit. All right, let's get up I'm close. pouring in the water. Water's landing in your mask. <sighs> Not too much. Mm-hmm. That's actually good. That's actually good. All right, so, because we don't have that's that many. You said to put it to right there. I know, but it's not a lot of things in there, so that's fine. But if we do more water, will it get more clean? <laughs> no, it's going to be the same amount of clean, but good question. A tiny bit of detergent, okay? Just take a tiny bit of detergent. Because last time I... Wait, what are you doing? What? Boy, hold on, wait. Pause. Count like one second and pour. One second. One second. That's too much! <laughs> All right, that's okay. All right, so now put the lid on it. The lid is right here. Put the lid on top. And now, that's fine, it's just gonna go just like that. Let me move this out the way. You're gonna press the power button twice. So this time we're gonna go to six minutes. So when you come in here, Kaden, you can want the power button at the bottom. That's three, there you go. Good job, high five. All right, so we're gonna let that wash for six minutes and then we'll come back and you'll drain it and check on your laundry. All right. <laughs> is it ready yet? It literally just beat. So that means it's ready. Ooh, let's look at it. Look at all that says. All right, so turn it to the part where you see the drain on the bottom. I turn it. Nose. There's a drain. There you go. There's allergies making me have runny nose. I know, you got bad allergies. Unplug it. Good job. Stop sniffing in the camera. <laughs> and look, you see the drain right there? Make sure it's hanging over the sink. Like that. Push it to the edge. Unplug the drain. Make sure it's. Because <laughs> you popped it. All right, the, it's soapy water. It's fine. Kaden got water in his eye. So you see it's draining out just like that. So this is how you can come and wash your own stuff. If you want to wash your socks, if you want to wash anything, okay? Mm -hmm. Cute little mini portable washing machine that you can use for any of your small items. Washcloths, rags, towels, t-shirts, underwear, all kind of stuff. Even mask. Kaden is really still wearing masks because of COVID. He does not take off his mask, so we wash his mask frequently. So this will be good for him that he can come home and wash his mask whenever he wants. Okay, Kaden's in the laundry room and he's gonna now throw his in the dryer. This one is the dryer? Now, boy, you ask me that all the time. That one over there is the dryer. Uh -uh. All right, open it up and just throw those in with the t-shirts. Throw them in. inside? Yes, throw them in. In the metal? Yes! <laughs> Close it, you can tell he doesn't do laundry right. Press the start button at the top, play button. <laughs> Did you just cut it off, you hit power. Power, because I paused power it. Supposed to be the quiet? little arrow, like the play button. Oh. There you go. Dun, 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 dun. Press it hard enough so that way. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Good job. Say bye. Bye everyone. And there he goes, back to his room to watch YouTube. All right, so here are the wash tests up close. Again, came out really good, still vibrant. Nothing peeling. Of course, that was like a little light wash. I know that's what you guys are gonna say. But the colors are still holding up great. All right, so like I said, I'm going to keep you guys updated. You know, won't be next week, won't be next month. Once I get a number of more good washes in, I'll come back and I'll let you guys know if anything happens drastically. I will promise you that. All right, so that's how it looked after washing it for the very first time using the mini portable washing machine. Okay guys, so that's it for our little mini portable washing machine review. Really like this little snazzy 
washing machine. Can't put too many things in there, of course, but it does come in handy for certain objects, okay? Thanks to my little helper who's already back in his room watching YouTube videos for the rest of the night. So you see me wash firsthand the DTF results. Let me know if you've had any crazy wash test results because I haven't had any issues so far. So far, I have been loving my DTF printer, have no issues with it. Prints beautiful, gives vibrant colors, and you can print on pretty much any fabric, okay? So if you're interested in this mini portable washing machine, the link is down below. And definitely go check out that other video where I unbox all my other Timu products. You will not be disappointed. I had... I found some nice gems in there, okay? As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Smash the thumbs up button so that way I can continue making videos like this. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Stick around. We have a lot of fun and I do post weekly content to help you start and grow your business. And of course, awesome reviews like this. I will see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye.